Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Wilfs from Slide Nerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the spinner in Android. If you're new to Android or new to spinner, this is what a spinner looks like. It is a drop down list with a list of choices. The user can pick one of the options from this list. The spinner exists in two states. On the right hand side, as you notice, the spinner is undisturbed, but the user clicks on the arrow. He sees a list of all the available options and he can pick one of the options from those choices. This data inside the list is managed with the help of an adapter by the spinner. So how does the spinner work with the adapter? Let us see. You have a data source. It can be a cursor or it can be an array. The spinner uses an array adapter that takes the data, creates a view from the data and this view is passed to the spinner. The spinner keeps all the data in the list. As the user clicks on the arrow, all the remaining options are presented to the user. So this is how the adapter is responsible for taking the data and converting it into a view. So what are the three steps involved in making and using a spinner? Step one, define the array data source. Step two, tell the adapter how to display the data by specifying a layout for the drop down. Step three, Define what happens when the user selects an item in the spinner. Step 1. Define the array. In Java or in XML, things differ slightly. In Java, you can have a string array like this. In XML, you can have a string array like this with your name equals to days. Now the reason we have this name attribute is because at some point, you're going to pull this array from XML into inside Java. So you need a way to refer to this array over here. Again, step two, tell the adapter how to display the data. Again, this differs based on whether your array is in Java or XML. So you can have array adapter, adapter is new array adapter, and three parameters. First, a context. Second, a layout file that defines how a single item inside the list appears for a spinner. And, and the third parameter is the data source itself. For XML, things differ slightly. Instead of saying array adapter is new array adapter, you use a static method called create from resource. Again, this takes three parameters. One, the context. Two, the array resource. And three, the appearance of a single item inside the drop down list of a spinner, which is contained inside this file. Now, don't worry. I will show you exactly how this file looks like. So after this point, you are left to decide to handle what should happen when the user selects an item. So again, step one, use the on item selected listener to determine what happens when the user clicks on an item or selects an item. Step two, two methods on item selected, on nothing selected. Step three, the on item selected is the main method that we want to deal with. It has four parameters. One, the adapter view, which is your spinner. Two, the view, which is nothing but the text view inside the spinner that was clicked. Three, position of the item inside the list, zero for the first, one for the second, two for the third, and so on. And four, which matters only when you're using databases or content providers. So now let me examine the layouts of a spinner. First one is something called android.r.layout.simple spinner item. When you use this layout, your spinner looks like this by default. When you expand it, this is what you see. Other one is android.r.layout.simple spinner drop down item. It differs slightly from this one in the fact that it has a better margin spacing between it. And it also uses a checked text view instead of a normal text view. The question that arises among most people is can I change the layout of this drop down list? Yes, you can. Use the method called set drop down view resource on the adapter for a custom layout of yours. Now, last but not the least, a comparison between both the layouts. As I said, they contain a single text view, each of them. The left one, which is simple spinner item, contains a text view. The right one contains a checked text view. And the other differences being in style and height. And that's the only difference you have. Now you could go ahead, make a custom layout here, and that would take care of everything about how your spinner looks. So in the next video, I'm going to go to Android Studio and I'm going to make this spinner work. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, 
please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day